Hey guys, it's the Grows Project 101 here with um, well, our first Minecraft Modern tutorial. And I'm not going to call him Seas anymore because it's just confusing, so yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to call him um, Minecraft Modern Tutorials and then update the actual version it works for inside the video title. Simple as that. Okay, so um, let's get started with the actual MCP setup. You want to open up your browser, so mine's Google Chrome. It's very usual because Google Chrome is the best. And yeah, okay. So we want to download three things. Why is it got Happy New Year on there? Um, oh, it's Chinese Happy New Year. Okay. And basically, what we want to do is you want to type in um, JDK. That stands for Java Development Kit. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to open this. The, the, that is the second link, and it should be the downloads one. You want to click Accept License Agreement and then download the one that's applicable to your operating system. So Windows 64-bit, Windows 32-bit, Solaris, Linux, Mac, whatever. Okay. So you just download one of them and then place it into a place, you know, where I've got mine my, and my, my downloads. Just there. Okay. And as you've probably just seen, we're going to want to download something else. So you want to type in Minecraft Craft Forge Download. Okay. And it should be the first link, files.minecraftforge.net. I'm going to hit that. Okay. And then you've got all of this here, you see, you've got all these. You always want to download the latest one. This is not finished yet. Like, a lot of fields need to be renamed, so we're just going to go far the series before we need to update to the next forge. But you should always remember to always update your micro forge as soon as the next one comes. Maybe not as soon as the next one comes out, but as soon as you can. Okay? Because it always has new features in. Maybe if it's just one, loads, I don't know. Okay. So, once to download the source. Okay? So you just hit the source button there, and it'll download it. I've got mine downloaded here. Okay? And sometimes, if you really, really want to, sometimes it can be useful to go to the change log. But not, you don't always have to go to there. And you'll see that the, light, the, thing that this, the newest thing that I had in this first version was the fluid system. Okay. So, what you want to do now, go back to Google. And you want to download one more thing, and this thing is called Eclipse. And what Eclipse is, is it's an IDE which allows you to compile um, raw code on the spot and just jump into the game whenever. Okay, so download one applicable to your operating system, Windows 64 bit or 32 bit, or if you're on another platform, go to other downloads. Okay, and you just want to download that, and you'll get a folder as it folds like this. Okay, so what you can do now, you can actually close off Google, and the first thing you want to do is actually run JDK. Okay, so you just double click it, hit yes, allow to install and all that, and it's just a lot of next, next, and next. I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed on my operating system. So now I'm going to hit delete. Okay? So after you've actually got that installed, what you want to do is you want to go to um, wherever it's installed to. So basically, the place it will be installed to, if you go to uh, your documents, so I'm just going to hit file, open new window. Um, basically, this PC or com my computer, whatever you want to call it, go to local disk. Win, um, 64-bit 64, 64 program files or 32-bit depending on the operating system you're on. So I'm going to hit go to my 64-bit. I'm going to Java. And you'll see we'll have something called JDK in here. Okay? So you want to double click on that, double click on bin, and you'll see we'll have this. So what we want to do is that you want to go to your control uh, to uh, yeah that's right. You want to right click on this PC, well or my computer on the left here if you're using Windows. You want to go to properties Advanced system settings, go to environment variables, and in here, okay, so I'm just going to delete that one up there. Okay, you want to hit new. The variable name you're going to ask for is going to be TAF. Okay, and the variable value you're going to want to have so that JDK bin. So you just place that in the side of the variable value. And hit okay. And okay. And okay. Like so. So we can cross this off. And. Yeah, you're done with that. And the way to check uh, if it works is open up your command prompt or CMD or terminal on Mac and type in Java C. And you'll see we have everything in here. Okay? So, that's good. But, um, yeah. Okay, uh, so basically what we just did, we allowed the, CM, uh, the command prompt to actually access that. So we basically installed something that allows our command prompt to actually access that, so it's just a long a, a long process, but okay. But I can't really explain it in full detail, because this isn't a computer science lesson. Okay, so we can close off command prompt. Okay. And now what we want to do 
is we actually want to uh, install Eclipse. So like I said, Eclipse is an IDE. And basically the place we're going to install this is, damn it, is if I can control click this, maybe not, is inside of our local disk, okay? But you can, you can install it, you can even install it on the desktop if you really want to, okay? Let me just open up my downloads of it. Right click it. Open a new window. Okay. And basically, you can install it anywhere, anywhere on the desktop or even in a different file. But a place I like to install it is inside of my program files or if you're on 32, 32, 32 bit system, install it in there. But program files, then like what I like to do is like, hit like, right click, um, go to new, not new. I wasn't right clicking it, that's why. Go to 7-zip, ex extract files, and then into the place you want it, which would be on this PC. Um, local disk, program files. And then I've got I've already got a folder called Eclipse in here, because I've already got it extracted, which is there. Okay, and you just extract it into a folder called Eclipse in there. I'm going to hit cancel and cancel, because I've already got it extracted. And once you've extracted it into there, you'll have a folder like this. Okay, so that's all installed, and basically what I like to do is I like to right click on it and hit, and just copy it, and then paste it to my, to my desktop so it's easy access. The shortcut for it that is, because that's how you launch the program. Okay, alright, the last step. You want to want to de dedicate a place for you to actually start making your mods. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Um, yep, yeah, so, once we've, oh yeah, we want to install Forge. Okay, so what you want, like I said, what you want to do you want to dedicate a place on your computer for this. So I've dedicated my place in the program folder in my documents, in a folder called MCPs, and yeah. Okay, let's delete that. That's just a temporary thing to see if I can still do it, see if I'll do it right. I'm just gonna delete like that, okay? And you see, damn it. We can copy and paste this inside of our MCP folder, or you can just click and drag, either way. I like to keep a copy of my downloads. Okay, so what I like to do, what we want to do then, is you want to right click on it, 7-zip and open archive and you see we've got all these folders okay um, basically what I'm going to do I'm going to go to my downloads MCP sorry I'm going to hit new file wherever it is or I'll just right click and hit new file and I'm call it call it YouTube tutorial okay I'm going to double click on that and what I'm going to do, I'm going to click and drag that all the way to here. Normally I just extract it, but for some odd reason it wasn't working and it kept giving me this cache error and, yeah, not cache error, Minecraft project wasn't being found and anything like that. So I'm, what I've just been doing, it seems to have been working, it's just clicking and dragging. I have no idea why it, it was doing that before. Okay. So, once you've done that, you want to shift, right click, and hit open command window here. Because Forge actually installs it in a, way, a new way now. Because last time it used to be just like a, like a file you could run, and this time it's just it got, they've implemented something called Gradle. Okay, you can't double click on that, but you can. You have to open up your CMD in that workspace, and you just have to type in which uh, file you're after. So I'm after Gradle W, and you, Gradle W is gonna call upon that file, that fa folder there. I'm sorry about any shouting. Uh, Gradle W, um, set up. Decomp work space. All those capitals are important. There's no spaces, okay? And then, so it's going to set up this decomp workspace in a certain folder. And the folder we want to specify is Eclipse. Spell it exactly like that, okay? I'm going to hit enter. And then it's going to do its magic. It's going to work its magic. It's going to download things, set up the, the workspace inside of Eclipse. I'll be right back once that's done. And we're back, okay? So you see that uh, Forge is actually successfully installed. Like it says, and it's not like a load of text like in the last version. And it says total time. It took me total time in two minutes, fourteen seconds, because I have a good computer. And I see it has, and also good internet connection. That will also be required. And you see the build was successful. Okay, so we can close this off now. We can close downloads off. YouTube tutorials can just keep that for now. And what you want to do is you want to launch your Eclipse. And basically, we want to click browse. Uh, go to wherever you set it, wherever you just uh, set up Forge. So mine would be inside of my documents, programming, MCPs, and then YouTube tutorials, and then Eclipse. You want to hit? You want to hit Eclipse? The Eclipse folder. Hit OK. OK again. 
and you will see that everything is successfully installed. Three errors, that will go away. Minus than that, minus than that. And yeah, I guess that's it. Well, we've got we've got Minecraft installed. We've got you can't view the source code as you used to, like I'm not too sure whereabouts inside of here it even is. But um it's somewhere. I've not been able to find it yet. I'm too lazy. Okay. But what we're gonna do, you see I have a we have an example mod. It shows you like everything, so it's got a sample source code like showing you what it does. And yeah, it's just the, basically the, the new mod system, the way it can be set up. But this isn't the way we're gonna do ours. So I'm just gonna close that. And yeah, so we'll run Minecraft just to prove it works. So you can run the client on the spot or debug it if you want to. Want to. And you'll see that Minecraft launches. Mods, and you'll see that everything is installed. We can even disable the example mod if we really wanted to. Obviously, you can't disable Forge. You can figure up the, the mod loader though. Apparently. And then you can disable. Thanks for watching.